just evermore. And it says that I have not seen neither ear heard the things which the Lord has prepared for them that wait for him. You know, there's a whole another world of greatness that awaits us when the kingdom of heaven is established. It's not seen in this society. In this society, we only see carnal things that reason offers in this society. But when the kingdom is established, the Lord is going to open this up to a whole nother world. You know, of pleasure, of knowledge, of wisdom, understanding. You know, just, I mean, can't even be put into words. You know, because our imagination only goes but so far. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. So we're being restored, but we're not going to be restored to what we used to have. We're going to be restored to something even better. And this is why the second covenant, which was established upon better promises, is a better fit for us. But now, hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind, and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins, and their iniquities, will I remember no more. In that he saith a new covenant, he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old, is ready to vanish away.